Uh, greetings, everyone. This is Ndudu Zomkize, also known as Kavzo FX. Right. Um, I've recorded a video here on USDZA um, on this setup that I posted a couple of weeks back. Um, so I wanted to explain uh, deleting diagonal in details this pattern here, All right? <clears throat> right, so you can have a leading diagonal at the bullish market, you can have also a leading diagonal at a bearish market, All right? So um, let us assume that the market was falling like, like this, all right? Market, it's been falling like this. And then um, you start to have um, wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, and wave five, okay? So um, the, the leading diagonal has got five subwave, all right? Um, it, sometimes uh, wave one has got five waves. Wave two has got three. Wave three has got three waves. Wave four has got three waves. And wave five has got five waves. Sometimes you'll find that the subwave uh, within this leading diagonals is 3333. Three, three, three. So we'll find that we have APC, 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 APC. So it's the subwave we find that uh, divided into three, okay. But at times we find that this is a five wave, okay. Then three, 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 and five, all right. So now, um, we said we're assuming that the market has been falling like this, and here at the bottom is giving you this pattern. You should know that the downtrend uh, is about to come to an end, and the uptrend, uptrend will soon begin, all right? So this pattern alone is wave one. Right, so we will have wave two here, wave three, wave four, and wave five. Okay, so after this pattern, you will have a correction here, right, like this uh, A, B, C. All right, we'll have a correction like this, and then after that, so we've got two waves now. This is wave one, this is wave two. After that, okay, this is wave one, this is wave two, this is wave three, four, and five. All right, just change um, I know, uh, me. Uh, 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 no, let me make this. Okay. All right. So, let me make All right. So, you will have uh, wave one is in a form of a leading diagonal, which is our key point here in trading uh, this bullish market here. This is the key point. Assume that the market was free falling here, downtrend, and at the bottom here is giving you this pattern right here. Okay, as you can see here, I've also made a video here on the USDZ 
market was falling here, then it's giving you this pattern here. We've got A, B, C, right? Then we'll have wave three, four, and five. Okay. So, uh, sometimes we will not know uh, the end of wave two, but in most cases, it should end around um, 61.8, and 50% people on actually level of wave one, all right? Let's just assume this is wave one, right? It should end. Um, should end around here, 50% uh, or 61.8 you should have a reversal here, all right? And then you will have wave three here, okay? So now, um, you know that wave four must not overlap wave one, all right? Uh, wave four should not overlap wave one. So this will be your stop level if you are trading wave four, all right? So it should come around here, but not below this line here on this area of wave one, all right? Okay, let me delete this, right? So let's say you have um, wave one, two, uh, you can be able to predict the end of wave uh, five, all right? There's two ways to do that. This is uh, method number one. You just draw the parallel lines here and put it here in the extreme of wave three. Another uh, example you can just from this um, wave one here, of deleting diagonal, you can just apply your FIB ratios here. Then the only level we're interested in uh, is 61.8, uncheck here, and right. Then you take this 61 and place this right here. So it should end around here, right, as wave five, okay. Uh, I think you understand with the bullish markets. Also here um, on the bearish market, you can have um, a sub wave can be five, three, 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 five, or just all three sub wave. Okay, so um, let us assume that. We just delete this stop loss here. Let us assume that. The market has been rising like this, all right? So now um, we'll have first sub wave here, right? So two, three, four, and five, right? Two, three, four, and five. Um, right, mm. okay, right, so we'll have something like this. So this is the leading diagonal in a bearish market because uh, the prior direction here was an uptrend. So once the chart gives you this pattern, you should know that the uptrend is about to come to an end, then the market will change direction. Uh, you will have a downtrend here, okay? So this whole pattern is our wave one. Then we will have a correction here, right? Have a correction here, A, A, B, see right and then 
once you have this correction here, you can start initiating your orders here to trade wave number three, okay? So this is wave one, one, two, uh, you're gonna have three here, four, and five, all right. Um, just, this is too much, okay. Uh, this APC can be a zigzag or a flash correction, okay? If it's a zigzag, C will go past this previous high here. If it is a flat, uh, it should uh, more or less be same on the same level, you know, as wave A. But if it's a zigzag, it should pass here, all right? Then you will have wave B here, then wave two, wave three, wave four, and wave five, all right? So you will have something like this, um, all right? So this pattern alone, um, the whole pattern is wave one and wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five, okay? Um, this is a bearish market. This is uh, just one, two, three, four, and five, right? You know that wave one should not, um, come into conduct, or wave four should not overlap wave one, right? You can see here, uh, let me just put a uh, stop loss here. You can see that wave four did not come into conduct with wave one, did not trade on the same territory as wave one, okay? Right, also to predict um, the fifth wave, just take your fifth tool here, take this 61, Point eight and place it here, right? So as you can see, it should end around here, okay? Alternatively, you can just take these parallel lines here, okay? Um, connect, it starts off at the extreme of wave two and the extreme of wave four, right? and you place it here at the extreme of wave three. Then you should be able to predict the end of it. Right. I hope you guys understand. Um, you just need to understand the theory behind this pattern and you apply them accordingly. You will be able to um, execute winning trades you will be able to write the trend as long as possible, right? Okay. This is um, a setup I shared, I think two weeks back. Uh, this is the setup, I said it's gonna drop and it's gonna give us wave three, right? A couple of weeks and exactly gave us wave three and wave four, right? Just take this parallel line here and place it here or apply your FIB tool, take 61.8 and place it here, wave three, and you should be able to determine the end of wave five, right? So right now, uh, when the market closed on Friday, it was right here, okay? So we expecting those two CDUs, these are coming to this level then we'll decide what's gonna happen here. All right. <sighs> okay. All right. All right, so I think you guys understand. If you want to join our mentorship program uh, for three months, okay, um, for South African clients, uh, it's only 2,000 rand. For international clients, it's 145 USD. Okay, you can text me on Telegram here, 081 uh, 472 Okay, then um, 
we should be able to learn um, these types of um, chart pattern in terms of uh, wave theory, okay? And also price action in general, okay? Right. Okay, chess guys, thank you very much. I'll forward this um, video and the other one for this live chat here, and this one for just a basic understanding here. This is a schematic diagram you now. It's not the real charts. I was just explaining, you know, how do we go about trading leading diagonal, you know. Um, it's not that you only found leading diagonal at the beginning, um, at the end of the market, you know. You can find it uh, on top or at bottom, you know. As, as, the, as the way it says, it says leading. So it, it, it's a lead pattern. Uh, either in downtrend or uptrend. So the prior direction here was downtrend. Once you see this pattern, it's telling you that the downtrend is exhausted. Then the bullish trend will soon begin. Uh, similarly here, the bullish trend, once you see the pattern here, bullish trend is exhausted and the downtrend will soon begin. It is advisable to trade only the impulsive wave which is, uh, it's difficult to trade with one because you don't know really what's going to happen, you know, but you can trade it at some point. Uh, but surely wave three and wave five, you can trade that because you, you have some strong confirmation here uh, on the first wave. You see, you've got strong confirmation and you will be able to trade wave three and wave four. All right. So, yeah, okay, you can join us. Uh, 2000 Rand South African client, 145 USD international client. Okay, then you will be able to see where to put your stop loss, where to put to take profits, how to determine your targets, and be able to be on a trade as long as possible. All right, okay. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm.